Hi there, I'm Elle and I am from Easy Ads Marketing. I wanted to share a technique strategy with you today that will help you propel your business writing to even greater levels. It's a, a really powerful technique that copywriters use and also um, movie script writers uh, to really capture the audience's attention and really um, pick up on your audience connection. Uh, look, I'm really thrilled to be able to share this with you. Normally, I would charge you know $500 for this type of training because it, it is really, really powerful. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, easy as marketing. Uh, we are professional copywriters. I have a team of writers that I mentor and train. I also train business people um, to improve their own. And uh, so we create copy and content and social media management, social media marketing. There is a, a difference, I won't go into that now, um, on behalf of businesses. So we take care of all of that for them. I've got 30 years um, plus experience in business itself. I have um, spent the last six or more years focused on um, online marketing so um, that's where the social media management came in but I was marketing uh, from a, a very young age and I've run businesses across a number of niches and a number of industries uh, bricks and mortar as well as online so I'm coming with a great deal of experience to be able to uh, share this with you well, typically um, most people know how to talk about their product or their service they know how it's going to help people um, if you sell lipsticks, you know how the, your shade of lipstick is going to make the face more vibrant and the, um, the nutrition and the nutrients in it are going to really help protect the lips from the elements. You know how to do that. But where people often fail d fall down is making that emotional connection. And this strategy can be used for any industry, any niche, anywhere where you are selling to people. People have emotions and they connect with their feelings. So just telling them that, hey, it's full of, you know, aloe vera and vitamin E and, you know, it's a beautiful rich red colour, it's not going to connect with them. You can get into that emotion. That's where they're going to go, wow, is that what it's going to do for me? Wow, yeah, I've got to have this lipstick, not the one on the shelf beside it, but this one. So that's the technique that we're looking at today. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so you can now see um, that screen. So this is uh, an, a promotional article or the beginning of one. It doesn't have a, a proper call to action. Uh, it could be used as an email. It could be used as a social media post. It could be used um, uh, for a TV ad, a video. It doesn't matter. Um, the point is it's the, the story that's going to connect. Research shows that many people start their own business to take back control of their lives and time, but this often doesn't happen. It's no wonder that many small businesses shut their doors in their first year of trade, and those that do make it past year one often don't survive to year five. Let's face it, business can be tough. When you begin, you have to be Jack or Jill of all trades because there just isn't the cash flow to employ anyone else, and it is your baby. Outsource, get a virtual assistant. You hear the cries. Yeah, sure. The day-to-day -day bills are barely being met. Who knows when that will happen? But as time passes, the turnover increases and you can bring in some paid help. When you look at the accounts though, it seems your employee is earning more than you. Surely there has to be a better way. If you mentioned in your local Facebook group or network meeting what your turnover is, you know everyone would be impressed. Six figures. Isn't that what everyone strives for? You would need to keep the fact that the expenses pretty much equal any income, so you still have to do everything possible yourself just to survive. Isn't there a better way? So this is the first level. We're all pretty good at, at knowing that this is what our customers are struggling for. In this instance, it's uh, businesses, maybe not complete startups, but certainly in their early um, area of their business life. We know that we're going to be talking to them, we're going to relate to them, we're going to have similar, pro similar problems to them. But you need, you need emotion. You need to really connect with people. 
you need to um, you need to absolutely get in and, and help them feel their pain and understand how your service or product is going to help them. So the next one endeavours to do that. So this one, it's, it takes it into a story and makes it more relatable for people. Again, it starts the same way. Research shows that many people start their own business to take back control of their lives and time. But this often doesn't happen. Take Jeremy, for instance. Jeremy was sitting at his office late into the night. The boss's job was never done. Even after the last employee had left and the production for the day was finished, there were still the marketing promos that needed to be written, the quotes that had to be completed and sent, and the invoices to email. It seemed to be the fate of the small business owner. Jeremy hated never being home for his kids' dinner or to kiss them goodnight when they went to bed, but it seemed to be his lot in life. On top of that, there always seemed to be so many bills. The turnover of the factory was really good, but by the time all the accounts were settled, there seemed to be less to live on than when he was an employee working for someone else. As for the hours that he worked, at least when he was a paid employee, he could either leave at the end of his shift or get paid overtime to make staying back worthwhile. He just felt frustrated. He took a sip from the coffee mug, then all of a sudden a total feeling of overwhelm hit and he pelted the cup at the wall, smashing it into shards. But wait, there is another way. Check in with us tomorrow to find out what it is. So again, uh, let's just take it for this was being used as an email example. Um, this would be the email and you're leaving it open-ended, so you're drawing them back in. So that's kind of your soap opera sequence. You want your, your, um, your audience to keep coming back, to go, well, what was the answer? Because you know what? I feel like that. So this one has connected with them emotionally, connected with your audience. They can actually feel, yep, yeah, I'm sitting there. I'm doing all the, you know, the paperwork after hours. Yeah, the turnover's good, but then I've got to pay all the bills and there's nothing left. Um, and yeah, there are days when I want to just smash my coffee cup up against the wall. So you're actually connecting with your audience emotionally. Leaving it open-ended brings in that structure. But to be honest, if we start with research shows that many people start their own business to take back control of their lives, look, anyone reading that is just going to go, yeah, righto, heard it all before. You're not telling me anything new. I don't even bother reading the rest because you're just going to say the same thing. You've started the same way, so you're going to be telling me the same thing. If you can't get people to read your copy, it's a waste of time writing it. So we've introduced the emotion and we've connected there, but that's only good if we can get them into reading that emotion. So the other thing we need to put into our, our content marketing strategy is action. Now this one, uh, addresses it totally different way. Smash! The coffee cup slammed against the office wall. Jeremy was sick and tired of working until all hours on his business. He had decided to work for himself so that he could regain a more balanced lifestyle and a reliable cash flow that was better than he could earn as an employee. Instead, he just seemed to keep paying bills that never ended, working on stuff that needed to be done but didn't seem to bring in any extra money now when he needed it. And on top of that, his wife and two youngsters ate their dinner every night without him, staring at an empty, lonely, cold chair at the other end of the dining table. The kids would be in bed by the time he got home and he would need to be back in the office before they were up in the morning to be at the meetings that were scheduled. Jeremy was really regretting his decision to ever get into his own business. He just felt like he was on a continuous hamster wheel. I'm going to stop there just momentarily. Again, using the story gets in their mind. It interrupts their thought pattern. They don't expect to read a business marketing me uh, message that starts with smash the coffee cup slammed. So immediately their interest is, is piqued and intrigued. And they go, wow, I want to read this. So you've got their attention immediately. You've started them 
wanting to read and find out what happens. When they do, in that first two sentences, that first 60 or so words, you've captured their emotion and they're relating to you. So they are absolutely 100% going, yeah, that's me. Wow. I'm, I'm, you know, this, this business has really got me. That's what I'm feeling. That's really what's happening to me. And, and yeah, I'm ready. So moving on, Jeremy was really regretting his decision to ever get into his own business. So right there, you've highlighted something that your audience genuinely feels. They wake up in the middle of the night going, I wish I'd never started this business. You've brought it up so they can relate. It's churning at their guts at this stage. He returned to completing his marketing and social media posts and finalizing his next blog article. He knew that this was important, but it was a longer term strategy to build the trust of his prospective clients. He needed to stay uppermost in their minds for when they needed him. If he let it slip, then his competitors would reap the benefits. But surely there had to be a better way than burning the candle at both ends. He finished his work, cleaned up the smashed coffee cup mess and headed home in a dejected frame of mind, reflecting that he needed to make some changes but didn't know where or how. Little did Jeremy know his saving grace would magically appear the following day. Check back tomorrow to see how Jeremy turned this time-sucking, soul-devouring business ownership hamster wheel around to recover his life balance, be home in time to enjoy his time with his family and relish the consistent cash flow that would come his way. So again, using that soap opera sequence finish, you're capturing their attention for them to go, well, yeah, that's me. And if Jeremy found the answer, I'm on it too. So this would be part of an email sequence. So in summary, you need to know your product first. Know how it helps your client. Know the benefits, not just the features, not just that your lipstick has vitamin E cream in it, but how does that really benefit your client? They're going to have the most luscious lips and not age, their, their lips won't show the aging process. Whatever it is, you need to know it. And to be honest, most business owners do. They know how their product or service is genuinely going to help their clients overcome their challenge. Secondly, you need to tap into the emotion you need to get them feeling not just going yeah 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 we know you've got vitamin e and, and it's going to stop the aging process but get inside their emotions understand how they feel when they no longer have that challenge and how they feel when they do have that challenge really draw those feelings out but step three is the secret ingredient. It's bringing that action in. When you've written for the emotion, go through and find what part of it really peaks at the action point. In this case, he pelted the cup at the wall, smashing it into shards. Wow, that's way at the end. And yet that's what's going to capture the attention. So pick it out. Put it at the beginning. Smash! The coffee cup slammed against the office wall. I call it start in the middle, but it's typically your action movie sequence. You think of the last action movie that you watched, you know, Bruce Willis's um, Die Hard. It doesn't start with him behind his desk going, you know, gee, I'm a, a good ex-cop and I can save the world. It starts with him in the middle of, you know, guns and car chases and explosions happening. If you keep that in mind, get the explosion happening first. So go through after you've written your copy and added the emotion and work out where is it really happening? Where is the action happening? Take that out, stick it at the beginning, start in the middle and you will be amazed at the difference that that will make to your overall connection with your audience. After that, uh, if you're just doing a single email, you would put the solution, you know, Jeremy called Easy As Marketing, 
they took over his content strategy and everything ran smoothly and the money started rolling in the door. Put the answer at the end or make them come back for the next sequence, be it another email or the next day's social media post, whatever. Um, the uh, Amy series, I think it was, with um, Rhonda and Katut, did that soap opera sequence really well? They they took it on, they took the audience on a journey, and everyone connected with them. And if we can still talk about it in Australia here, if you haven't, if you're not in Australia or don't know who I'm talking about, uh, Google it. Uh, YouTube, they're up on YouTube, and it's it's a fantastic marketing sequence. Uh, the whole story of Rhonda and Katut, K A T U T, um, and and they did that really well. So if you keep that in mind for your end. You keep the action movie in time in mind for the beginning immediately your your story part of your content will improve why do we need stories yeah, we don't if you're writing an encyclopedia are you just facts and figures does your audience care about facts and figures generally not they want to know how that's going to help them how it's going to make them feel and that's where the story comes in and if you get that story part right connect with the emotion Make it a, a soap opera sequence so they're left hanging at the end and add the action at the beginning, the action movie. Uh, you're going to improve your, your um, content marketing tenfold. Well, so thanks very much. I hope that you gained a lot of value out of that and you can use it in your content marketing. This is Elle.